so welcome to my channel ron cloud so today we'll be say, seeing how to share files over the internet using webdav let's uh, configure some basic step and as well as we have advanced step to configure let's get into the video my windows 11 machine open control panel so go to turn on windows features so here search for internet information services so you need to enable two options from here here web dev publishing so this needs to be selected http protocol and uh, one more thing you need to do on security you need to select uh, basic authentication so these two options you need to select so this will install the windows features which we have just enabled open uh, IAS internet information service manager so before that uh, let's replace the IP address to static IP to change network ad adapter options so ethernet 0 you have so just go to properties by right clicking open uh, internet protocol version 4 give a manual IP address in the range 192 38 0.17 so subnet mask and default gateway 192 0.1 will be the subnet so just provide the dns server so I'll google dns servers ip so just click ok so i think it's connected to the network now let's check this out okay so we are connected to network let's check the ip address of the machine go to cmd click ip config you will get the ip address so here we can see the ip address has been configured to uh, static ip 192.168.0.17 so once this is done here on the site's default website you can you need to go to web dev author authorizing rule so enable this web dev enable web dev once that is done you need to add the authorization rule here where you what you need to give allow access this content to all users so you can uh, specify some roles or user groups as well so the permissions you can uh, give read write source so just enable these three permissions and give ok so once this is done go to, oh, once again let's go to inet folder once the application is installed so that feature is enabled so we should get an inet pub here with a folder ok so which has been created so under, under this you need to go to www root so here is where your uh, IS page should uh, reflect here so this is the HTML page so this is the HTML page the default HTML page when you open the browser and click localhost you should get an local page let's check this out so can you see uh, the page is available for you once you click uh, localhost you are getting this one so same you can get 192.168.0.17 you should uh, get an similar results okay so we are good it we are good uh, here so we can uh, we have missed some option let's check this out so we need to enable go to is go to directive browsing enable directive browsing okay once this that is done now the configuration should be good so now you can able to access the uh, browser from here now you can uh, able to access the files share files over here port forward to access this site over the internet okay basically you need to log in into your router i have logged into my router 
so let's forward the port so here you need to power the port uh, in my router i can able to power so you go to advanced settings forward it forwarding add new here i need to add the port number 80 so here i need to set the local ip address which is 192.168.0.0.70 which is my local ip address of this machine so i have enabled the status http okay so once this is done so i should be able to access my site using my ip address public ip address let's check this one see i can able to access my default website using my public ip address let's access iis test so it's working now so this is done so we need to configure the dynamic dns in order to you need to access with a fully qualified domain name that's why dino dns the dns services so once you log in with your credential with the dino.com so here you can find dns services so what here i am going to do so i am going to add a, we have option one and option two so i am going to use option one and i will say rahnc with the dns non c free ddns dot arch as pretty top level domain so just add it so once you add so once you add you will be seeing your domain name here so using this i should be able to access my site with my fully qualified domain name see so i can able to my uh, land into my default website let's Let's check this one. So now the files can be accessed over the internet with the fully qualified domain name. So what is the next step? Uh, so in order, to, if you want to add some password or uh, enable some password for uh, your group for uh, to access your uh, files, so you can enable. So let's try to do that. And so you need to disable this anonymous authentication. You need to enable this basic authentication. So, so this we have done. So let's just check this one. So can you see? Once I enable that, I can able to see we need to. We we are getting a pop up to access our site. So our my username Ron Cloud. So I am going to use my credential. To access this site so see now you can able to access let's enable HTTPS so try to access from HTTPS in your router so in order to do that so you can see you cannot able to reach the site so this is basically because you have not enabled uh, the port 443 to access through HTTPS so let's power the port in 443 and check and uh, IP address status just save so I have enabled the power the port 443 to access the site over HTTPS let's try to access now so you can uh, let me close my browser and reopen So still I cannot able to access. So before uh, doing that, so we need to go here enable create and certificate self signed certificate for the server. So create self signed certificate. Uh, let me say uh, and see. So I'll create a certificate here. So expiration. So here what you need to do, go for binding, add the HTTPS, 
so here you need to mention the fully qualified domain name through which you want to access the site using HTTPS do this one so you need to select the certificate which we have selected just give ok once this is assigned so now we should be able to access the site without any issue see get a server certificate and as well as I have enabled uh, the binding so where I have mentioned that once I do that so can you be able to see here I can able to access the site once continue so you can able to do this so if you feel like you can uh, you do not actually want to access the site over uh, the browser still you have a dev client where you can able to access the site so I am using mini yeah. port number 443 yeah, yeah. provide your username and credentials just log in yes so now you can able to access and you can upload the files from WinSCP see transfers see this is achieved now uh, so if you like me video please subscribe comment and share thanks for watching i will come up with another video thank you